Hello and welcome to another review. Yes, the Halloween season is upon us. Therefore, I wanted to do a special review for you guys. And um, since I am always a big fan of action figures that glow in the dark, and I always seem, you know, I always relate the glow in the dark aspect with Halloween, I decided to do a quick review for you guys on this guy, the new transforming He-Man figure from Super 7. So, sit down, stick around, and as always, enjoy. All right, so first and foremost, let's take a look at the packaging here. Uh, packaging on this guy is done, well, it's done pretty much to look like the original Master of the Universe. Uh, this whole line is actually, looks like that. Um, kind of like the whole, uh, filmation type series as seen on TV. Look at that. So normally when I do these, or I buy these, I usually keep these sealed. And in this case, we're going to open this guy up because I want to show it to you guys. Um, cool thing about the card, other than showing the other characters that are available in the series so far. Um, this is cool. It's right here. So this is what the figure is actually based on. It's based on when Prince Adam uh, holds up his power sword and says, By the power of Greystall! So, yeah, it's cool. So you'll see, these come actually unpunched. Well, since I'm going to open this guy, I don't care about the card. So here, let's punch that up. There you go, look at that. <gasps> Damaging a sealed figure, oh my god. So cool, so you can hook him up. And as you can see from the inside here, if you look, it comes with uh, what appears to be swords, and a shield, and a mini comic. So, uh, all right. Let's open this guy up. So I stand corrected. It's actually not even a comic that comes with it. It's just a, a little cardboard insert here that explains the from toy to tune. So interesting. Because basically these are uh, based on the uh, filmation uh, models of these guys. That whole series here from Super 7. So just a card. So though we can put this up somewhere, so, you know, it looks neat. It's cardboard. The uh, accessories, the shield, which appears to be glow in the dark as well. And uh, a full power sword here. And as is customary with these figures, and with the original He-Mans too, we, you kind of have like a half a power sword. So this is a half. You could actually attach this to another part of a power sword, and I guess you could have half of it glowing. Um, yeah, I don't really know what the use of it is, but whatever. So here is the actual He-Man figure. Looks very good. So things that they kept on this guy. Here, I'll put the camera down here so you can actually see this. The. Uh, the swingable waist here, that's been kept. So you can... Uh, and the legs here, if you remember, the old He-Man figures, they had elastics in here. There's no elastics anymore. Just a joint here. Which is cool, because at least then you don't got to worry about the elastics deteriorating over time. So I would assume it will make it a little more easier to pose and to stand up, which it does. Cool. Alright. So let's gear this guy up and let's check out the glow in the dark feature. Alright, so now we're going to have to figure out or see if he's going to glow. Um, let's get the light on him right now. Actually here, I'll actually put him against the light. Ah, ah, take it all the large. Down here. You don't have to do that, but whatever. Let's see. Whoa, look at that. Wow, very cool. Very, very neat. All right, let's bring the light back on. Let's look at the back. So now let's take a look at the back here. Ready to go. Whoa! Oh yeah, very cool. 
This guy is very cool. So the first actual five and a half inch He-Man figure to glow in the dark since Scare Glow from the original line, which is very neat. Love this guy. Look at that. Here, let's charge them all up. Whoa, look at that. Very cool. Transforming He-Man. So yeah. So this ends my review on Transforming He-Man. Um, and from me to all of you and your family, have a great and safe Halloween. And until next time, guys, take care. Later.